There are three stages to ordering your regular prescriptions or repeat medications. Placing an order for more medicines, getting the prescription to the pharmacy and collecting the medicines from the pharmacy. The good news is that it's never been easier. You can even organise it all remotely at any hour of the day or night from the comfort of your own home. There really is no excuse for running out of drugs. And what is more, they are free if you are under 16, are 16 to 18 and in full-time education, or are receiving certain benefits. The only difficulty is that the systems change and can be different depending on where you live. Why not find out how your parent or carer goes about arranging things? If you want to go about it differently, the receptionists at your GP surgery will know all the options. Normally, it's a choice between dropping off a request slip at your GP, phoning a prescription line, ordering online. There are a number of apps and websites that enable this. You can register for an account when you are 16 years old. If you're aged 13 to 15 and want to get ahead of the game, why not contact your surgery as you may still be able to request access to online services. In each case, you can choose the pharmacy where you want the prescription to be prepared and it will be sent there electronically. What could be better? Just don't forget to collect it from the pharmacy. If you're struggling with this one, why not consider getting your prescriptions delivered to home? When it comes to ordering prescriptions, it's very important that the drugs and doses are the same as on your latest asthma plan. If there's an issue, contact your asthma nurse. You should also check the expiry dates of your drugs, as you should not take out-of-date medicines. It's good to store your medicines in one place so that you can easily rotate and check your stock. Remember to avoid extremes of temperatures, as your medicines can be just as sensitive as you on that front. If you're unsure, read the drug information leaflet. Stock control is really important. If you're overstocked, then you need to ask yourself whether you're actually taking your medicines. With holidays, you need to plan ahead and make sure that you've got enough supplies. Should you have a crisis on the reliever front, you can buy salbutamol from a pharmacy, although you need to take along a copy of your prescription. But take time to ask yourself why you need another reliever. Lost one or forgotten to order one on your last prescription? Best not to make a habit of this. Using your reliever inhaler three or more times a week or needing more than one device a month. Now this is an altogether more serious matter, an urgent matter in fact, and you should see your GP or asthma nurse as your asthma could be getting worse.